I'm Chris Walker, and I am. Um, I do the tours one day a week on Thursday because I believe they're divine appointments. So when I do this tour, I know that God has a plan for each of you to be involved in Bible translation in some way. There's people that go, there's people that give, there's people that pray. You can be all, all three of those. I do all three. I, I come from the Amazonas, Amazon region in Brazil. And we are here to unite the strength with indigenous people, with national people and uh, foreigners. So that the gospel will go forth. And we are thinking about partnership to facilitate the to, to work of a gospel uh, spreading in South America. Bible translation, evangelism, training leaders, uh, training leaders in the secular world also, but also uh, the theological Bible. It's a pretty big uh, task. That's why we need to unite our strength to do the task. My name is Eli Chikuna, Chikuna tribe from the Amazon In the 1300s, John was an Oxford scholar, very well uh, respected at Oxford. And in fact, my daughter studied over there, and she studied uh, in, uh, camp in towns and Hall. Uh, um, but John wanted to bring the word of God to people, his common people who spoke English, and he wanted the Bible in their language. And at that point, it was in Latin, and the people could not read it. And the church at that time was making lots of money because people had to pay for their sins, they had to pay for their salvation, they had to pay for everything. And John knew that was a lie, and so he began translating the Bible into the common people language, people's language. And as he did it, he got kicked out of Oxford. Uh, the, the church leaders were furious with him, and they said, um, you know, you can't be here. And so anyway, he spent the rest of his life as a country preacher, he ended up translating the Bible with some of his colleagues into the common language. He died a natural death, but 43 years later, the uh, church leaders were still so angry with him. They labeled him a heretic. They dug up his bones, burned them, and threw him in the river. There was a little prophetic poem that said, The Avon to the Severn runs, the Severn to the sea. Wycliffe's ashes spread abroad, wide as the waters be. And that by the Bible into the common people's language. If you look back here, you'll see in the 1600s, we then had the printing press, and Martin Luther translated from the Greek and the Hebrew into the uh, German language. We've come all the way through history, back in the 16, way back hundreds, and the 1930s, uh, when Cameron Townsend was getting started in Bible translation, and today we want to involve you in Bible translation. Uh, you might have noticed the crayons back there, uh, 6,909, one for each living language that we're aware of in the world today. At the end of this light switch, there's a jar that has a multicolored set in it. That's um, 438, representing those who have a whole Bible. The rest of the world does not have all of God's word in their own language. So we have some work to do. And the way that we feel that gets done is through prayer. So back here, you've seen the bubble gums. I saw you looking through the window. Um, and they represent each one of the people who are praying for a specific people group to receive God's word. And they pray from the beginning till they have adequate scripture. So we want you to be one of our sweet gumballs. 